friends, I was just dancing to the music because today we are talking about our five senses. So welcome to the Live from the Library. I'm Librarian Megan and I am from the STEAM team. So if my friends don't know what the STEAM team is, the STEAM team is a very special team that goes, that goes all over the city and we visit preschools and daycares and we go to WIC centers and maybe we even see you at the laundromat. But right now we're coming to you from our houses or in, from the library over the computer. So isn't that neat? We can just do anything. So I bet you're wondering, librarian Megan, what is the STEAM team? And I am going to tell you, but friends, I'm going to need some help. I need help with my letters. Are my friends good with their letters? Okay, great. So let's see. My first letter is S. Yes. So the S in STEAM team stands for science. Can we all say science? Science. Excellent. And my next letter is T. T, -t, -t, -t. And the T in STEAM team stands for technology. So that's a big word. Let's say it together. Technology. Excellent. And so technology is things like our computers and our tablets and our phones. So all the things we're using to see each other right now. And our next letter is E. So E stands for engineering. So engineers are the people who make and fix our technology. Ooh, this one's easy. This one's easy. Everybody knows this one. It's A. Awesome. So the A stands for a little word. After those two big long words, this one's a little word. It stands for art. So let's see. Who likes paint? Ooh, I like paint. Who likes markers? Me too. How about crayons? Oh, yeah. How about colored pencils? Mm. So it seems we have a lot of artists with us today. And our last letter is my favorite, M. So this M doesn't stand for librarian, Megan, but it stands for math. So knowing our numbers, addition and subtraction. So to help us remember all those letters in scene, because that's a lot of letters, it's five letters. We have a very special song. So we're gonna clap one time for each of my letters. So let's wake up our clapping hands. Let's shake them out, shake them out in front. And shake them up high. Woo, they're so high you can't even see them. Shake them to the sides. And how about you shake them low? Ooh, you can't see them again. All right, let's see. Let's see if that got them ready. I'm woken up. Yeah. All right. So we're going to clap one time for each of my letters. We're going to go S, P, E, A, M. All right. And then we're going to do a big stretch and make a circle with our arms. And we'll sing, let's go explore our world. All right. So Librarian Megan is going to start. And then when I put my hands up to clap, I want you to join me. So we're going to we'll clap, all right? So the song goes, with science, technology, engineering, art, and math. S-T-E-A-M, S-T-E-A-M, S-T-E-A-M. Let's go explore our world. Excellent. So today, like I said, we are talking about our five senses. So we have our we have five senses. Let's see. Let's see if you know them. I'm going to quiz you. So we use our we use our eyes to see. Yes. And we use our ears to hear. How about we use our nose to smell and our we use our tongue to taste. Ooh, and this one's a tough one. We use our hands to what? Touch, exactly. So I have a special song that we're gonna sing first and then we'll get into some books, okay? So it goes like this. We use our ears to hear. We use our ears to hear. We hear noises loud and soft. We use our ears to hear. Okay, so then what's another one? Ooh, good, 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 taste. So our tongue. So we use our tongue to taste. We use our tongue to taste. We taste the flavors in our food. We use our tongue to taste. Can you stick out your tongues for me? Nah. 
<laughs> All right, how about, oh, our hands? Okay, let's do our hands. We use our hands to touch. We use our hands to touch. We touch things both smooth and rough. We use our hands to touch. Awesome. How about, hmm, we have two left, two left. Okay, our nose. All right, let's do our nose. So we use our nose to smell. We use our nose to smell. We smell flowers and perfume. We use our nose to smell. All right, and last, last but not least, our eyes. Yes, we use our eyes to see. We use our eyes to see. We see colors all around. We use our eyes to see. And speaking of colors, we are gonna start with our first book. And it is called Baby Bear Sees Blue by Ashley Wolf. And I am reading this with permissions from Simon and Schuster. So thank you. Deep down in the den, Baby Bear wakes up. He yawns <gasps> and blinks and stretches his stubby legs. In the den's dark wall, an opening slowly fills with light. A glow creeps in. Who is warming me, Mama? asks Baby Bear. That is the sun, Mama says. Ooh. So can you think about the sun? What color is the sun? Well, it kind of changes depending on time of day, if it's sunset or sunrise. Yesterday, I saw a big red sun when I saw the sunrise. But today it's yellow. Baby Bear sees yellow. At the mouth of the den, leaves dance on a twig. Who is waving at me, Mama? Asks Baby Bear. That is the oak. So an oak is a type of tree. What color are leaves on a tree? Hmm. Well, it depends on time of year, you're right. But it's springtime, so the leaves are green. Baby Bear sees green. High in the oak, a bird calls out. Another bird answers. Ooh, what sound do birds make? They go, twink, 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 twink. Who is singing to me, Mama? Asks Baby Bear. Those are the jays. So have my friends ever heard of a bird called a blue jay? That's what these birds are. So guess what color they are? That means they're blue. Excellent. Baby Bear sees blue. And we have how many? One, two blue jays. Oh, spoilers. Baby bear wades the swift river. Mama bear wades the swift river. Baby bear follows. Suddenly a fish leaps. Mama, who splashed me? Ooh, so splash. So if he felt that it was wet, that would be touch. Asks baby bear. That is the trout, says mama. Okay, this one's a little tricky. Baby bear sees brown. Now, I think that fish is a little orange. So if you said orange, I totally understand. Mama and baby climb into the meadow. Baby bear sniffs. <laughs> what smells so good, mama? Asks baby bear. Those are the strawberries, mama says. Ooh, who likes strawberries? Raise your hand. Yeah, me too. Baby bear sees red. So there's the red strawberries. Yum. Mama bear rests in the grass while baby bear explores. Bright wings flutter by. Who tickled me, mama? Asks baby bear. That is a butterfly. Ooh, there's the butterfly. What color is that? Oh, I'm gonna get it close. So you can maybe see the color a little bit better. 
baby bear sees orange. Oh, he's just covered in butterflies. That seems nice. Baby bear hears a deep rumble. Ooh, so hearing. Mama, who's growling at me? That is the thunder, Mama says. Let's hurry home. Baby bear sees gray. Ooh, big gray storm clouds. When the boom and grumble move off down the valley, Baby Bear peeks outside. <gasps> Mama, look! What do you think he's gonna see? <gasps> oh, so beautiful! That is the rainbow, Mama says. <gasps> now I have a rainbow on today. It's like I knew. Mama and Baby curl together. Baby Bear yawns. <gasps> Good night, baby bear, Mama says. Good night, Mama, says baby bear. Then baby bear closes his eyes. Can you all close your eyes? And sees nothing but deep, soft, what color do you see? Black. The end. Great job, friends. So we're talking about two specific senses today. We're not going to talk about all five, even though I mentioned them. So we're going to be talking about seeing and hearing. So our first book, we talked a lot about seeing. So we're going to play a game, okay? And I have this awesome board. Check it out. And I'm going to show you some pictures. And we're going to decide if they are seeing pictures, things that we would see or hearing pictures. So the pictures we all are definitely see, but some of them represent noises. Okay. So let's see. All right. Let's see. First we have, wah, wah. we have a crying baby, not just a baby, a crying baby. So that would definitely be a hear, right? Ooh. Continuing on our theme. So in the book, Baby Bear, what? A rainbow. He saw a rainbow. Exactly. Okay, here. Let's see. Ding a ling, ding a ling, ding a ling. Ooh, that's a bell. Yes. So we hear the bell. You're right. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome at this. All right, let's see. Ooh, what are these? Hmm. These aren't like the ones in the book, right? Because the ones in the book were gray. These are fluffy white clouds. So we see the clouds. If they were making, if they were gray and thundering, then we would hear the thunder. You're right. Ooh, I talked about seeing, well, talked about seeing a sun rise yesterday. But how about a sunset? Hmm. See or hear? You're right, it is also a see. All right, ooh, this is one of my favorites. How about this one? Yeah, the rooster is definitely a hear. Now, do you know how we say that in French? We say, Here we go. The rooster is a here. Excellent. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. The drum is a, yeah, that's also a here. How about, ooh, the moon. So the moon is a, do we hear the moon? I wonder what the moon would sound like. No, we don't hear it. So we see. Awesome. Let's do one more of each, okay? So we... <laughs> what do we do? We hear the dog barking. Yes. Oh, we are getting... We have so many hears that it's almost hard to fit in. 
All right, and let's see. Ooh, I'm gonna try a tough one. What do you think? So we have a bird. So does it look like, so see how the rooster and the dog have these lines coming out of them, like they're making sounds? Does the bird have any of those? No, so the bird is a C. That, that was really good. You guys, that was a tough one, so way to go. All right. So to continue talking about bears and talking about sounds, we are gonna read our next book which is Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle. And so this book we are reading with permissions from Henry Holt Publishing, an imprint of Macmillan Publishing. All right, so I want you to try to make these sounds at home, okay? Let's see if you can do it. Polar Bear, Polar Bear, what do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Can you roar like a lion? Roar. Good job, lions. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Hmm, can you snort? Ooh, good snorting. Although I think of snorting, I think of pigs, don't you? All right. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Ooh, how do you think that sounds? I, I think it goes, woo, woo. flamingo. Flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Now, when I think of the sound braying, I think of donkeys. So I'm gonna make a donkey noise, okay? I'm gonna go, hee haw, hee haw. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear, a, oh, this one's an easy one, okay. I hear a boa constrictor sing in my ear. Can you hiss like a snake? Ooh, good job, boa constrictors. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor. What do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. <gasps> now this is one of librarian Megan's special skills. She can do a pretty good elephant noise. Let's see. So I put my lips together like this, and then I'm gonna blow the air out, okay? So I'm gonna go. <gasps> Let's try it again. <gasps> All right, so. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Can you snarl? All right, good snarling. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. All right, so I listen to the sound to make, maybe try to make a good peacock noise. So I'm gonna go. <coughs> peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walruses are one of my favorites. So how do you think, do you, how do you think the walrus bells? <laughs> I think that's what sound it makes. It sounds like it because he's got that big mustache and those, those big long tusks, just like, a, just like an elephant, we call them tusks. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Ooh, can any of my friends whistle? Because librarian Megan cannot. So sorry about that. We will not be making that noise. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children 
Well, that's a surprise, isn't it? I wasn't expecting to hear children. Growling like a polar bear. Roaring like a lion. Snorting like a hippopotamus. Fluting like a flamingo. Braying like a zebra. Hee-haw. Hissing like a boa constrictor. Trumpeting like an elephant. <gasps> Snarling like a leopard. Yipping like a peacock. And blowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. It was kids all along. Kids just like you. All right. So we're going to play another game. Okay. So I, so we did. We did our sight and sound set, um, sort, and now we're gonna we're gonna work with our eyes. We're going to do a color sort. So I'm gonna sing a song, and by the time I finish singing the song, I want you to find the color that I'm singing about. Okay? So let's see. Can you find the color gray? The color gray? The color gray? Can you find the color gray somewhere in your room? Hmm. Well, I have something great. Let's see. I have, I have a nice cozy gray blanket. Oh, I love this blanket. It's one of my favorites. It's nice and warm, especially at winter. All right. Let's see. Can you find the color blue? The color blue, the color blue. Can you find the color blue somewhere in your room? Hmm. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you a couple of seconds. Let's count down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's see. Blue. Hello, so I can I can sleep on this pillow and wrap myself in this blanket. Okay, good night, guys. All right, just kidding. Okay, let's see. Can you find the color orange? The color orange, the color orange. Can you find the color orange somewhere in this room? Hmm. Orange might be a little tougher than gray or blue, right? All right, I'm gonna give you a few more seconds. Let's see. All right, ready? I found a book. This book is an orange, isn't it? Oh, the spine of the book is orange. That's what we call this part, the spine. Good job, all right. Hmm, what, what's another good color? Can you recommend one? Pink, all right. Can you find the color pink? The color pink, the color pink. Can you find the color pink somewhere in this room? All right, go look around your room. Do you see anything pink? Hmm, I actually found a pink dumbbell. So I'm gonna, while you look for something pink, I, I'm gonna lift some weights. All right, okay. All right, that, that arm's doing good, okay. Let's see, ooh, what's another color? Hmm. <gasps> Can you find something green, something green, something green? Can you find something green somewhere in your room? Now I changed the lyrics that time, didn't I? All right, well, oh, I found something green right behind me in this picture. I have some green dots, don't I? All right, so I had something green, I also had I had a green candle and a few green things. So, ooh, and actually, you know what? That book, there was green on the book. So maybe something could count for more than one thing. So, hmm, next color. Can you find the color white, the color white, the color white? Can you find the color white somewhere in your room? Looking for something white. I found something kind of funny that was white. Now, if this was in nature and not just something made out of ceramic, it definitely wouldn't be white. It would be yellow and green because it is 
a pineapple. I found a white pineapple. Huh, interesting. All right, let's see. What's another color? <gasps> let's do my favorite color, okay. Can you find the color yellow, the color yellow, the color yellow? Can you find the color yellow somewhere in your room? You know what? Since it's my favorite color, you'd think I'd have more of it, but actually a little tricky. So I found this birdhouse. This birdhouse is partly yellow. Isn't that neat? My mom painted it. All right, hmm. so we have a few more colors left. Let's do, we have purple, brown, and black. All right, so which one should we do first? Black, okay. Can you find the color black, the color black, the color black? Can you find the color black somewhere in your room? Now I am talking to you on my black laptop, but you know what? I can't show it to you, can I? So I actually found a black ladle. So it's a special kind of spoon. So I'm gonna go, mm. so I use it when I make soup. So it's a ladle. Mine is black and plastic. All right, two more colors. Purple, brown, purple, brown, purple, brown. All right, let's do purple, okay. Can you find the color purple, the color purple, the color purple? Can you find the color purple somewhere in your room? All right, let's see. Librarian Megan has a purple yoga mat. It's nice and squishy, although look, my cats have been playing with it and they scratched it up. Hmm. All right, last color, let's find brown. All right, so can you find the color brown, the color brown, the color brown? Can you find the color brown somewhere in your room? <gasps> Look who I found, my teddy bear. Uh, my teddy bear's brown. Oh, maybe I will use the pillow, and the blanket, and the teddy bear, and I'll take a nice long nap. You know what, friends? I completely forgot. I was going to ask the, the first color, the first color we all think of, the first color in our rainbow, red. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about red. So can you find the color red, the color red, the color red? Can you find the color red somewhere in your room? Well, that one was an easy for, one for me, but I, so I can't even believe I forgot because my shirt is red. <laughs> My Mary and Megan, you're so silly. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that game. And you know what? You can maybe play that game with your grown-ups throughout the day. Maybe you could even try doing with sounds. Maybe you could try to find things that make sounds throughout your house. Or maybe you could do it for different types of touch. So you could find smooth things or rough things or fuzzy things. So you could do it with all sorts of things. So maybe try doing that with your grownups later. So we're about at the end. So if you enjoyed this program, you should totally check out my friend librarian Sarah's program that's gonna be starting tomorrow. And it is STEAM Storytime Presents, Five Senses, Hands Up Storytime at 3 p.m. And just check on Chicago Public Library's website shypublib.org for additional programs from the STEAM team. So to finish up, we're gonna sing one last song, but first I have an important question. So who here wants to be an awesome reader someday? Raise your hand. And so I'm raising my hand because you know what? You can always be a better reader. Even though I'm a grown up, I can still become a better reader. So there are five things you need to do to be an awesome reader every day. And I bet you do them all the time. So let's see. Talk. So did we talk about our five senses today? Yeah, we talked about sight and hearing and smell and taste and touch. So we talked about our five senses. All right. So did we sing? Oh, we sang. Yeah, we sang a lot. 
So we sang, we sang our steam song, we sang our five senses song, and then we sang the, can you find the color song? Okay. So we sang, and then you need to read. Well, we read, we definitely read, we read two books. We read Baby Bear Sees Blue and we read Polar Bear, Polar Bear. What do you hear? So we read. Okay, so we got three down so far. So we, ooh, did we write? Well, we practiced our letters. We spelled steam. So we practiced our letters. So that is writing. And let's see, our last one. Ooh, I know you do this one every day. Do you play? Do you play every day? Can you promise me to play every day? Awesome. So we played a couple of games too. So wait, that's five. So you did all five of your early literacy skills today. So great job, friends. And to remember them, we're gonna sing one last song. So we'll get another, so four songs today. So you definitely got sing down. So it goes like this. Talk, sing, read, write, and play. All right, let's do it. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Makes a reader every day. Awesome work, friends. Well, thank you so much for joining me today to talk about sight and sound. And I look forward to seeing you again from live from the library every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Bye, friends.